Hey, this is Gary from 3Bug Media, and today I want to talk about Google AdWords and how to select the right search terms for your Google AdWords campaign. Now, there are a lot of tutorials on how to find the right keywords. You know, you can look for search volume and average how much it's going to cost, things like that, but I want to talk about actually how do you select the right types of keywords, the, the right language that your potential customer is going to use when they're trying to search for your type of business, okay? And we're gonna break it down into three things. Navigational searches, informational searches, and transactional searches, okay? So the first one is navigational searches. And these are basically, people are going into Google and they're just typing it. They already know what they want. They're just trying to find it. You know, they wanna know, you know, Walmart. Uh, where's, where's the Walmart? You know, they'll type in Walmart to see the closest one to get the address the pop up or they want to find a, the URL for Facebook, they might just type in Facebook or maybe they have a credit card with Chase. So they're going to type in Chase login. They want to be able to log into their account. So they kind of know already what they want. They just, they're too lazy to find it or they can't find it. So they just do a quick search. So, and these are usually short search terms. You definitely don't want to, you know, when it comes to search terms, you don't want to target, definitely you don't want to target single word search terms because it's very difficult to figure out what the intent is. So if somebody just types in plumber, you don't know what they mean by that. Are they looking for a plumber? Do they want to be a plumber? Do they want to do research on a plumber? You know, are they looking for a picture of a plumber? You know, who knows? You don't know what the intent is. And those are typically very expensive search terms. So you never want to do, you never want to do these short search terms where you're not sure where the intent is. Okay. Uh, but this first one is navigational. Okay. The second one, and this one you need to pay attention to, these are informational searches. And this makes up a large amount of the search volume that goes on every day in, in Google, okay? And this could be things like, you know, how, what, why, who, and when type of search terms. So people are looking for information to learn something, to get, to get valuable information. So, you know, how do I lose weight? or what is the best phone or what is the best laptop or how much is a kitchen renovation or how much is, you know, does a basement renovation cost? Things like that. These types of searches, people may eventually become a customer, be ready to make a purchase. But usually when people are asking these, how, why, what, who, and when type of search terms, they're either just curious or they're at the very, very beginning of that journey to actually make a purchase. They're just trying to gather some information at this point. And when you're doing Google AdWords, you know, on a cost per click basis, you typically, you're gonna try to target people who are getting close to buying because, you know, you may not wanna spend $10 for somebody to click on your ad when they're still eight months away from making a purchase, right? You may do it, but most of the time you're not going to. Okay, so be aware of these search terms. These search terms, if you if you don't take care when you're creating your AdWords campaign, these search terms can eat your budget very quickly and give you zero results for it. So something that I do for almost all of our campaigns, uh, not all of them, but most of them, is in Google AdWords, you can add something called a negative keyword. So you can add a keyword and if somebody types in a search term and that keyword's in there, your ad won't show up. So something that I usually do is I'll add these kind of search terms, how, why, what, who, when, and I'll add these words as negative. So whenever somebody types in, you know, why would I hire a plumber? You know, something like that. If the why is in there, the negative search term will get triggered and my ad won't show up. And that's a quick way to avoid these informational types of searches. Okay, so just be aware of these queries because like I said, these can, these make up the bulk of searches in Google and these can eat your budget very quickly if you're not careful. The last one is transactional search terms, okay? Uh, commercial intent. So people have a high commercial intent, they're getting ready to buy. Now, one of the things I always get from people is, well, nobody clicks on ads. Nobody likes buying ads. You know, nobody likes looking at ads. Nobody clicks on the ads, things like that. And for the most part, that's true. When people are doing informational searches, they tend to shy away from the ads because most of the time the organic search results are gonna return what they're looking for. There's a big, there's a big but when it comes to ads. 
when there's a high commercial intent, when people want to buy something, uh, Wordstream, which is one of the biggest, you know, uh, paid advertising platforms on the web, a uh, huge resource, they did a study and they found out that when people have a high commercial intent, they actually click on ads two to one over organic results. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. So if you're looking for, you know, a red pair of Nikes, extra large or extra wide or something like that, if you type that into the Google search results, you're gonna get, you know, in the organic results, you're gonna get, you know, maybe Nike's website, you're gonna get information about Nike shoes, blog posts, things like that, but you wanna buy shoes, but the ads are actually gonna show you, hey, we got red Nike sneakers, extra wide, on sale, $59, or something like that. They're gonna be very specific and very commercial, you know, have that commercial intent on there. So you wanna focus on these type of search terms, okay? so dentist near me or pizza near me, uh, locksmith near me, things like that. Plumbers in Charlotte or plumbers in your city or any kind of service professional, you know, mortgage brokers in Denver and things like that. Pizza coupons, Super Bowl. So, you know, if you're a pizza store and, people, and the Super Bowl is coming up, people are looking for the best deals, things like that. That means they're, they're looking to make a purchase. They're getting ready to buy. Uh, contractors in Denver, same, you, so you get the idea. Uh, and if you look at these ones, they, they have a clearer, a much clearer commercial intent than these types of searches. People are actually looking, they're getting close to making a decision and they're getting close to contacting a business to get started or to make a purchase, things like that. So when you're creating your keywords, when you're looking at your search terms, look for search terms that have high commercial intent. Think about how your customer would try to find you on there. And these are the type of terms that you're gonna to wanna to use when you create your AdWords campaigns. Okay, so to recap, we have navigational, informational, transactional. Uh, stay away from the navigational, the really short one, or sometimes even two keyword search terms because sometimes they're too generic to really understand what the intent is on there. Informational, for the most part, stay away from the informational ones. Use negatives to take out your how, why, what, who, and when search terms so your ads don't get triggered and they don't eat up your budget. And look for these high commercial intent search terms and these are the ones that you want to focus on for your business, okay? So hopefully that was helpful, give you some tips, and now you'll be ready to start doing some keyword research and start building your campaign. If you want to learn more, you can go to threebugmedia.com. Thank you very much and have a good day.